Abbott Laboratories has reached an agreement with the Food and Drug Administration to reopen its baby formula plant in Sturgis, Michigan, the company announced Monday, raising hopes that a national formula shortage, fueled partly by the Sturgis plant's closure due to safety concerns, will be over in a the FDA in February cautioned consumers not to use certain powdered baby formulas manufactured at Abbott's Sturgis plant, as it investigated a string of bacterial infections among infants that had consumed formula from the plant. Abbott voluntarily recalled some lots of Similac, Alimentum, Elcare and other formulas produced at the plant. The infections included two Chronobacter Sakazaki cases in Ohio, one in Minnesota and one in Texas, as well as one Salmonella infection. The two Chronobacter infected infants in Ohio died, with the bacterium a possible contributor to their deaths, the FDA concluded. As the amount of baby formula on store shelves plummeted by 43% earlier this month, speculators began to buy up some of the remaining stock, selling it online for up to $120 per can, the New York Times reported. Last week, White House officials announced the administration would coordinate with manufacturers like Gerber and retailers like Walmart and Target to surge baby formula production and make formula available more quickly. Additionally, the White House asked regulators to crack down on price gouging by baby formula resellers. Some GOP legislators misleadingly suggested that the Biden administration had intensified the national baby formula shortage by choosing to send formula to migrants at the U.S. Mexico border rather than to U.S. families. However, the administration is legally obliged to provide baby formula, along with drinking water and medical assistance, to children detained at the border, according to the terms of a lawsuit settled in 1997. Additionally, it's unlikely that the quantities of baby formula used at detention facilities would do much to curtail the national shortage, the New York Times reported. Chronobacter is a rare bacterial infection that can cause life-threatening meningitis in infants. Chronobacter bacteria can infest dry foods like powdered baby formula. Salmonella is a usually food-borne bacterial infection that can cause diarrhea and fever. Salmonella causes 1. 35 million infections, 26, 500 hospitalizations and 420 deaths in the U.S. annually, according to the CDC. Baby formula shortage worsened by shopping bots buying up inventory, Forbes, 